Hey there. Welcome back to, uh, more of this back and forth thing we do. You know, I talk to you about stupid crap going on on the internet and you listen to me and you're like, distracted by my hair. Well, I need you to focus because today we have quite the tale. Now, I'm sure if you're here, you know what Twitch is. Live streaming. You know, that thing I don't do that I want to do, but maybe someday. Anyway, so Twitch. They do live streams. You guys know what TikTok is. TikTok, we do short videos, little short clips, makeup videos, whatever, whatever you fancy, I don't care. So there's a variety of different creators on both platforms and uh, some of them got a little bit of a beef. A lot of influencers, especially the younger ones between the ages of like 16 and like 33 they live in these houses and they give them names this all started i think w way back with um either jake or logan paul they had this house called like team 10 and they all lived in the same house and did like obnoxious crap people ate it up they loved it since then it's been just the same kind of stuff there's like the hype house dumbass house i, I don't know they they just live in the house they give themselves a label and they it's like a frat house, but for online chumps. Anyway, there's this one house called the Go House. And there are a bunch of TikTokers, I guess. And allegedly, these guys rolled on up to a Twitch house, the home of Justin Minx and Code Miko. If you don't know who they are, they're pretty cool, especially Code Miko. That woman puts so much effort into her streams. I love it. She does this whole thing with like a VR model. It's great. Absolutely adore it. Top tier content. So this house of TikTokers called Go House rolls on up to uh, the Twitch house and they want to get into it because I, I guess they used to live there and they were just like, hey, let us in. And then the Twitch people are like, no, this is our house. Get out of here. It's like one in the morning. Just a minx did a whole segment about it in her stream. And uh, here it is. He just had fucking bad aim and missed. Um, so that's why we sound like little bitches in this uh, clip. That's why our voices are shaky and we're freaking out. And then after this clip is when. Name? Bobby Tulo. Bobby Tulo. Yeah. What the fuck? Bro, I used to live here, but it's not like. I yeah, but he threw a Dude, it's just. We were, we were talking. It's it just a sad. house. We don't know you. No, no, it was You just came no, to our house. Not, we're no, doing shit. No, no, wait, no. let me let me talk. You just came to a fucking house expecting to land. Fuck off. Why are you he throwing rocks? Off. Just fuck off. You fucking fuck fuck off. off! What or what? Like, Lewis was like. Thank God Lewis was there, because seeing him be his ma, like, Lewis was getting angry. Nothing, because we're going in. Why are you fucking harassing us? Balls like just fucking disappear. When we were on the balcony, they were so tough. And then the moment I went down, like, but it was just, I think it's so funny because I'm a woman. And it was like two guys and two girls. And they're like, come down, come down, you won't. And the moment I do, they fucking drive off. Yeah, I look like fucking Freddy's Flintstones. I look like the fucking Croods. I was like coming down my fucking dress bare feet. Like, I'll fucking kill you. Um, but, okay, okay, I'm going to start the story from the start now. Um, I'm just trying to think if I can name drop. I want to. Because like the thing is, we were not in the wrong at all. So yes, I spat on them. But this oh was God. after they refused to leave. I gave them three warnings. And the laws in America, like, if they're on your property, you can defend yourself. I don't have no gun. I got nothing. So I was, like, spitting on them. from. So I don't agree with the whole spitting thing. I don't think I would have done that. I probably would have just called the police. Um, but, yeah. They rolled up, did a bunch of screaming. The TikTokers threw a rock. Um, and it got, it got pretty heated. There was a lot of yelling, a lot of drama, a lot of energy. Which, I, I mean, I totally get. If I was just chilling at my house and then some weirdos showed up, I'd be pretty pissed too. And back in my earlier youth of living with a bunch of roommates, I actually had similar, a similar experience. 
But it wasn't like uh, random people trying to get into my house. They were like friends of friends I didn't know. Being like, hey man, let's come chill. Because me and my friends uh, were in a band and everybody wanted to hang out at our house. It was like this whole like thing. Yeah, if you guys didn't know that, I, uh, I make some music. Music. If you like uh, mediocre punk music, then uh, check out the Spotify. <laughs> Just a Minx ended up calling out one of the people specifically, but then ended up retracting that statement and some deleted TikToks. Here's some of that. Tried to break into our house last night, then threw a rock at us. Missed our head by an inch and smashed through our screen window instead. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick explanation because I was going to do like different five parts of the people there. And now I'm just like seeing how you guys went and at them. Thanks for that. But also... This is why I shouldn't have posted, so I'm going to explain again. So, people from the Go House rolled up to our house at 1am and they were like demanding to be let in. They were trying to like, they wanted to see the view and stuff and we had two guys tell them to go away and Space Boy and Jake, as they were leaving, they were like, that's some home invasion shit. And then Rita. And they pulled up this picture and said, like, this is us, this is like we're here and like they were pulling up tiktoks of all of them um i wasn't talking to them at this stage it was the others and then i was pulled out because they were like they're not leaving they're like staying they're refusing to leave so i go on the balcony and i'm like yelling down at them i'm like leave our like get off our property get off our property and they're just yelling back and they're refusing to go they're refusing and then that's when I was like, I'll spit on you if you don't leave. And I did a warning shot. I spit beside our car as they're still in our property, in our gates. That's when one of the guys, um, he picks up a rock and we're still in our balcony and chucks it at me and Lewis. And it misses us by a bit and like smashes through the screen door and then like marks our window. Me, myself and I, uh, I'm very manic right now because it was such a scary situation and like this is the photo they showed but this is why i shouldn't have done it because so to just recap the whole thing three of the people are unidentified right now but we're pretty sure the guy that showed us the picture of all of them is that's smith this smith guy right um so so basically, right now, the members it could be is Smitty, Ace Spades, Regan, Jake Brown. No, it, it, it could be. I think it's her. Regan. I don't know. Whoever the fucking go house is, they're the people. That's what they were doing. That's what they were flaunting off. And that's where we're standing right now. So. No. Stop using your cloud to fucking try break into people's property, you psycho cons. So yeah, we have no idea if there's going to be legal action about this or not, but in general, it's not a good idea to go rolling up to somebody's house at one in the morning demanding to be let in because you say you used to live there. I don't understand what kind of entitlement you have that you think that's a thing. You don't have rights to a house because you used to live in it. That's never been a thing. In fact, even if you used to live in a house and you came at a normal time of day and you're like, hey, we used to live here. Can I like look around? Nobody's obligated to do that. You don't have to. I mean, you can. A lot of people do that out of politeness, but you definitely don't have to. Especially nowadays, because like you could just be lying, I guess. You could be like, oh, yeah, we used to live here. But really, you're just like scoping out the house to rob it later. <laughs> that sounds like a crazy plot to a movie. Though in horror movies, they always do the whole thing of like, my car broke down, can you let me in? And then when you get let in, that's when you get a little shank in the gut. But luckily in this situation, nobody got shanked in the gut. There was just a rock thrown in some spit. Like a regular Friday night, I guess, at least at the Jersey Shore. Though at the Jersey Shore, there'd be way more Italians. Yeah. But... Anyway, that's this story. Nobody got arrested. It was just a little interesting. I thought you guys would uh, like it. A little discussion going on. Do you think it's okay to throw rocks at people while they're on the balcony? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. I know uh, nobody thinks that. If you do, get out.
little segue time. If you guys like cosplay, you know, dressing up like nerds like me, you can catch me over at Otakon, a beautiful, amazing place where everyone dresses up like idiots. And if you're like, oh no, I want to cosplay, but I can't craft anything, that's okay. Contact these guys. They're great. You can even use my code. What a great code it is. I got a really cool jacket from them. An amazing cyberpunk jacket with beautiful quality. But I won't be wearing that to Otakon because, like I've said a million times on this channel, your girl be pregnant and I got kind of a gut now, which is why I'm going to be there as Roadhog because I want to show off my gut and be proud of it. What up? And yeah, if you guys like my content, be sure to leave me that like, throw me that sub, and join our community. We are numbing that pain with constant killer content. You guys know that I'm going to see you next time because I always do. I